y'all this is Tanika from Hits with the Misses and today we are talking sensory friendly fine motor uh, basically all the adaptive things we have in our homeschool and just to see you know if you need them or how it works for us how we added it all that jazz before we jump into it and I mean it's gonna be a jump I've got a lot to show y'all. <laughs> um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button because that way you know when I have more coming out, um, which ironically will be a whole lot, y'all. So, okay, we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, and I'm gonna try to keep this as basic as possible and then put resources below for more information because I am far from an expert. Um, but I am a sensory mom. I've had to do a lot of my own research and learn a lot of new things and new terms to be able to help my kids. Okay, that being said, uh, my children both need lots of proprioceptive and vestibular input. And that's not really my jam. Like I just can kind of sit, you know? <laughs> that's not how they work. So. I, and I am all about free resources as well, and I would do my best to remember to link all of this information below so y'all can just click and connect. Um, but I found this spinning exercise. So you spin, um, and I got these arrows off Amazon. You spin to find the number and then the exercise. So you would do, uh, you know, jumping jacks two times, things of that sort. Um, and then I also found a free um like movement jar activity template right so you know it's the wiggle jar and then you can try hula hooping or like we don't have a hula hoop so they would like imagine that um but those are just easy ways to have movement activities on hand i've also seen movement jars like in the dollar spot at target um you, you can get them from lots of places, but I just found that free resource and that worked well for us. Now, the free, I'm gonna try to like grade this up by price. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Free, the next is Dollar Tree Finds. Okay, so the first thing is this pencil grip. It is like soft and jelly and um, a little bit squishy. So it can provide input as well while writing um and while we're here just i'm just gonna put a pin in it okay i know i said we're gonna talk about fine motor you saw this pencil we're gonna we're gonna bring that all back later just stay with me i'm gonna try to work through this as fast as i can also my children and husband are gonna be running in here real soon so you might hear some schools of excitement or irritation i don't know i'm just gonna try and, and get this to you okay so those uh, pencil grips were from the Dollar Tree. The next thing is this massager, right? So normally, I know for me, like I am tense. I am upset. You know, things like that is when you would get a massage or a massager. You have in an area of soreness. That might necessarily not be the case for a child with sensory needs they just need like that input in that feeling so something like this and this is also something they can use themselves they just hold it here and they can put it wherever they need to and give the input wherever they can safely as well because there's no like spikies or anything like this it's not heavy or weighted or something like that so you can do this with your child or you know you can teach them that this is something that they can have as well Told you I want to try to go through this as fast as possible. So I got this squishy ball from the Dollar Tree as well. And as you can see, this is already loads of fun to have. But this is a really good fidget too. You know, you have it in your hand, you keep it, it's quiet. And then it provides some extra input with the um, balls inside. They're like that water bead texture. Um, so that is a good thing. I also got this light switch and we are going to use it as a fidget because it is quiet and you can just sit down and bring it back and forth no harm no foul nothing's broken Boop. 
So we have that from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I also got this as like kind of like a sensory ball, uh, which is uh, another like um, calm down, soothing and or fidget. Um, and it's glitter and a little, I don't know, yeah, like that little mirror piece in there. Um, now knowing my children, they probably will try to bounce it or throw it. So it'll be some training there as well. Um, so I have these. I also got this mask for our like little calm down center as well. And not for like a spa treatment, but as you can see for the input purposes, this has the same things in it that that ball did. And so when they put it on, they can also like squeeze and play, but also, but again, safely, you know? So love that. Oh, I got, so they, these are supposed to be like facial scrubbers or exfoliators. I got these for more moisturizers, not moisturizers, just my word, more massagers um, to have. And because it has like a little grip, this is also by motor practice and they don't know it. Okay. Um, I got this emoji ball. Now this one is a lot harder to squeeze. So um, especially when we're dealing with big emotions, things like that, or more input, you really got to like, you know, to squeeze this one. I mean, like it's, it's not easy for me. So even smaller hands and muscles, it would be, you have to put a lot into it. I'm trying to move fast, y'all. Okay. So this is a Dollar Tree. It's Dollar Spot. It's $3. I got more of these uh, more pencil grips so in this package there's like a ribbed one and then there's one that like really helps with the grip but they're both kind of like a jelly texture so not the same input as the like squishy sprinky one um, but input nonetheless and then one like actually kind of helps with that grip as well I also because it came with a package. Got these small pencil sharpeners. And yes, I am gonna use these as fidgets as well. I do not like sharpening pencils. I was never the kid in the class. I was like, ooh, let me sharpen the pencil. Even with the electric pencil sharpener, it just, it never tickled my fancy, y'all. So I prefer mechanical pencils, but I realize that sharpening pencils is probably a skill my children should have. So I'm gonna let them, you know, if we need a little break or you need some busying activity, you can stand, you can rock side to side, you can turn this and sharpen a pencil. Okay. Oh, now, and this is something that I made from Dollar Tree materials, what actually my children did. So you take just a plain pencil, you cut it in half so it's short um, because a longer pencils and the weight is just, it can be hard for children with um, fine motor delays. And then we had a Trolls Day, so we put these um, feathers on top. The feathers were from Dollar Tree as well. So that's something you can put together. If you like, next up, I can't remember how much. These are like four or five dollars from Amazon. These are my favorite kind of pencil grips um, because you just put your pointer finger in there and then there's a little indent for your thumb as you're writing and they're, they're pretty sturdy. I mean, we've had ours for going on two years and so we're running low. So I bought some more to stock us up with. Also, super inexpensive via the Amazon. These are thinner pencils, but they are triangular shaped. So if you saw my um, homeschool school supply video, if not, I'll link that below. You, you saw, we got uh, quite an array of pencils and we will always have quite an array of writing art supplies for this reason because when you are comfortable using something your confidence is up and you're probably going to perform better you're going to want to do it more you're going to want to expand those skills so we um this is our first kind of like thin ish pencil that's not short i know anyway so we have those triangular ones <sighs> y'all stay with me I, I promise i'm moving as as fast as i can Next thing, yep, headphones. 
Um, and here's the thing, and I'm noticing this because I'm having to work with each of them more independently and they just the noise and the talking or the song or whatever is really distracting to the other one. There's a simple solution. Here you are. <laughs> Here you are. And these were six-ish dollars from Amazon. <sighs> Next thing for sensory kids, things to put in your mouth. Um, just, that's just the way it is. I am also going to take some silicone straws and cut them and just put them on the tops of pencils as well in case like while working they want to, you know, okay, we have something safe on there for you to chew that. But I also have this like, uh, chew noodle. Y'all, this is extremely durable. Like it's so thick. It is so thick. Um, and then it clips to you as well so you can kind of like keep it on all day and not like put it on different surfaces like that i got these fidgets from the dollar spot as well so you, you i mean you can roll them you can move them back and forth like one back and forth in your hand you can roll it like that you can tap it stuff like that um another thing i love are things like this like the jewelry is like a necklace that clips around and you can put that in there as well we have this other fidget these came in a set from we've had them for a while maybe fun and function i don't know but this has like a sand inside um and then we have some scented putty so it works with um that input but also stimulating the olfactory system as well wow had to take a little break Okay, next thing, weighted items. Um, I just realized it's not over here and I'm not gonna make y'all wait and prolong this video anymore. But we also have like some weighted balls. You can make, you know, stuffed animals or whatever in your house weighted as well by just getting those polyfill beads and putting them in there and stitching it back up. Um, you can do that by hand, you do not need a sewing machine. Um, but we have a weighted vest and the weights are in here at the bottom put that on we also have um like kind of like a weighted belt as well to help build that core strength and give weight there okay so that's the majority of the tools next up we have seating and i say it like this because this is either gonna go great or it's gonna go horrible it's it's one of the two there's no in between um, if you guys saw my, um, I'm bringing a homeschool video tour to you as well, homeschool room tour, and it's really only because I've gotten a lot of questions, but also because I want help on like utilizing the space at all. Don't feel like yours has to look like mine, but you'll get to see all of this seating kind of like in action and how it's placed. Anyway. So the first thing we have is this sensory seat. So on one side, it has these like pokes. They're not, they're not pokes, they're just protrusions. They don't hurt, obviously, coming out here. And then on the other side, you have protrusions that are smaller, right? So you can sit in your seat and rub the sides of this. You can, sit, you can feel this input here. You can kind of like move from side to side. All uh, this jazz. We have this in one of our stools here. <sighs> Y'all. Oh, the next thing that I adore. We've had this for so long. You can get these very inexpensively from pretty much anywhere now. Um, it's just an exercise ball or a yoga ball or things like that. You can sit on these. You can um, roll back and forth. You can do crunches on these this is if i had to think of maybe like one multifaceted tool that could give you multiple types of input and have multiple types of use this would be at the top of the list um you know, we've had this four years maybe the same one um so that is a great one the next thing is we do have spin stools for each child and this is the part that can go well or horrible but you sit and it's not like grounded and you can move all around spin 
and all of that stuff. So we have one of those for each child. And then the next thing that we have are these like egg rocker seats. And I got these from, oh, a yard sale, you know, back when it was safe to do that. Um, so they were like three bucks each, but I've seen them at consignment sales or, you know, if you have friends and you want to like buy a set and split it, they're very inexpensive that way. And the only other thing I could suggest um, is a billabo seat. Um, and I'll link that below. It's a really crazy name, but those are really good for input as well. Whew. Y'all, I think we made it. Okay. That is all for now. Y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.